Welcome back. We are doing a science project today. The kids are now in second grade and this year we are amping up the science projects, the social studies lessons, and the art classes. So we're going to bring you guys along for some of them. And uh, this is going to be our first science class. So I'm really, really excited. We're going to be talking about the scientific method today. The kids have not been introduced to that yet. So they're going to learn that they need to ask a question, build a hypothesis, conduct an experiment and make an observation, gather up all the information and then share what they learned. Uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, then we're gonna get into solubility. That is the topic today. And in that we're gonna discuss our permanent markers really permanent. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna gather liquids and figure out if these liquid, liquids will remove the permanent marker. So. Are you guys ready to get started with us? I'm really excited. I'm gonna gather up the kiddos in the kitchen and we're gonna get started on the science of project. So let's go. All right, guys, you ready for science class? Yes. Okay, we finished our language arts assessment today. It was a huge day and we did our math and today is science day. So we have four plates. We have Sharpies, which are permanent markers. We have coffee filters four clear glasses. We have hydrogen peroxide, soap. vinegar, and Dawn soap. Dawn. And this last glass is going to be a glass full of water, H2O. All right, now we are gonna work on understanding the scientific method first before we get into the science project. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Do you guys know what the scientific method is? No. You shouldn't because we haven't covered it. So, the yeah, first... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? What is uh, it? Do we need paper? No, we do not need paper. We need paint. No, we do not need paint. We need all the stuff that is here. Okay, number one. We need food. <laughs> number one. We need to ask a question. So, our question today, what we are trying to figure out with all of these materials is our permanent markers really permanent? Where are the permanent markers? Right there. We need to figure out if it's going to be permanent if we try to soak it in Dawn soap, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, or water. All right, number two, we need to develop a hypothesis. Who knows what a hypothesis is? Do you know? No. Do you know? Okay, a hypothesis is letting everybody know what you think will happen. So, if we write a little bit of Sharpies on this filter, do you think it will remain permanent if we put it in the water? Maybe. Hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, or Dawn soap? Do you think any of these will get the marker out? No. Peter's saying vinegar and Dawn soap. This one. Jane saying hydrogen peroxide. All of them? So you think that Sharpies are not permanent? Jane saying that Sharpies are not permanent. What do you think? All three of them. All three of these. Yeah. So you're saying that the Sharpie will come out? Actually, this one, this one, and this one. All of them? No, this one, this one, and this one. So you think that the Sharpies will come out? with everything besides water. No, except this. Except the hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Now, are you guys ready to experiment? That's where the water's gonna go. Jane finished all of her, she has four of them there. And now Peter's gonna write all the lines on his filters. Peter's gonna go first. He has all of his filters colored. So what you need to do is watch this, buddy. This is gonna stay in the solution for 10 to 15 minutes. We're just gonna put it in there, just like that, and we're gonna see what happens, okay? Put this in the hydrogen peroxide. Try not to touch it. Yes. 
Hold on, buddy. Yep, Jane has to wait. She's gonna do her project next, which is nice because we're gonna get two separate readings. We're not just gonna do this once. We're gonna get two separate readings and see if we all come out with the same solution. Then that is a part of the science experiment. What do we need to do now? Wait. How long? 10 to 15 minutes. That's right, so we need to set a timer, don't we? Okay, it has been about 13 minutes. Now, let's take a look here. So we have the water. We'll go ahead and take it out. That looks like it did nothing, right? And then you have this one? the hydrogen peroxide, which looks, oh, this one did good. looks like it did nothing. Vinegar did a little bit. And Dawn soap did nothing. So vinegar is it's a possibility. Vinegar. Now I'm gonna keep these out here for a little bit. And I'm gonna take away the hydrogen peroxide. Yay. We're gonna take this one away. And then we're gonna replace it with Tide. 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 Our laundry detergent. So we're gonna keep the water. We're gonna add Tide. Take out the hydrogen peroxide. Keep the vinegar and the Dawn. Jane, are you ready to add yours? Yeah. Okay, dunk one into the water. Make sure it's in there. And then we're gonna dunk one into uh -oh, the tide. Good. Make sure it's all in there. Do you guys think that this will change anything? No. You think you're gonna still okay. have the same results? Okay. Well, ooh, it's already Changing. It's already changing. So do you think this is gonna be the winner? Yeah. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna set the yeah, timer. This, this the well, the vinegar was the winner for yours, Peter. But let's do round two, okay? To know for sure. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. We yeah. have the water, which didn't, okay, we gotta let it drip dry a little bit there. We have the water, which didn't do anything again. <gasps> We have the laundry detergent. Let's see, buddy. Oh, it did a little bit. Oh. I'm gonna do this. It doesn't want to dry much. There we go. It's detergent. Good. And then we a have mess, a mess, a mess. the vinegar. A mess. A mess. Yeah. And then we have Dawn soap. So in this case. Mom did the best. Uh, this one's mom. I think the detergent did the best. This. This one, this one did the Yeah, vinegar did probably the best overall for all of them. Was our hypothesis correct? No. No, you guys figured that the Dawn soap, the vinegar, and the hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide, this right here would get the permanent marker out of the filter. Mommy, can I put it all together? Did any of them get the permanent marker off the filter? No, none of them. So, in conclusion, is a permanent marker really permanent? Yes, I would say so. With the solutions that we use today. We use Dawn soap, vinegar, Tide, water, and hydrogen peroxide. All right, was this fun? What did you learn today? Permanent marker is really permanant. Or if we waste it on, on, the, on the list. Well, that's dry erase on the whiteboard. This is permanent. So, do we do we write with a permanent marker on our clothes? No. What about on the counters? No. What about on the cabinets? No. What about or not on, the fridge. on the walls? Or on the fridge. Yep. So, where does a permanent marker belong? Well, I guess in this case on the filters. Maybe on paper? Oh, yeah. yeah only on paper, right? And fans. No fans. No, 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 no. What? But only on paper. And what? sometimes mommy okay. will use it for baggies to label them. So guys, this means, Peter, <laughs> this means that when we use permanent <laughs> marker, who's listening? Hands up. Hands up, Peter. Okay. 
when we use permanent marker, we only put it on paper. paper because it is never going to come off. All right, say bye bye. Say bye bye, channel. Bye, bye channel. Have you have fun with Science Day, guys? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on our science experiment. Come back for more. Like I said, the kids are in second grade. We're amping up the science projects this year and we have a lot on the calendar. So don't miss out, hit that subscribe button, come back for some more fun with the Dax family and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.